Curse whoosh! I guess my mic and stuff weren't working before. Now it should work, because now I actually see the volume thing. So now, we'll get to actually hear me react to this. Don't worry, I only watched the first two minutes, and then my internet pooped out. Lucky for me. Um, but I didn't really do anything crazy at that start. It just said, hey, new Dragon Quest coming out September. Then it told me the names of the fighters. That's all I know. So, I'm just gonna skip to that section. I mean, there was a funny joke about the fact that <laughs> they have a low budget. So, let's just skip to this section. Alright, let's go! Let's actually do this. And hopefully it'll work this time. He's equipped with the Dragovian King Sword. That said, it may be a bit tough to distinguish them using just the name Hero. So if you want to refer to each of them individually, here are their names. The Hero from 11S is 11. The Hero from 3 is Arusu. The Hero from 4 is Solo. And the Hero from 8 is 8. You can nice use names. names to reference them if you'd like. Also, they each have a color variation. Oh, the coloring and design those of are cool colors. Are based on characters from the series. Can you guess who they are? No, because I don't play Dragon Quest. Ooh, this is actually the very first time that the heroes in the Dragon Quest series have been able to fight each other. What really? To finally happen in Super Smash Bros. Okay. For that, I'm very grateful. Alright, I still don't know a lot about the new meter thing. Hopefully, he'll tell us. Actor, and I'd like to introduce them now. So oh! Here they are. Here are the voice actors. The hero from 11 is Mitsuki Saiga. This hero speaks in 11S, but the action in this game is different, so her voice acting needed a bit more room. The hero from 3 is played by Nobuyuki. Goku! Goku! You might say the king of Rage <laughs> is playing the hero. But he voiced Link in the original Super Smash Brothers and Super Smash Brothers Melee games. Oh! So you could say he was already a hero. <laughs> He's definitely a pro. That's interesting. Voice actors, so. His recording sessions went there faster. So Link's old voice actor's on Goku. That's awesome! <laughs> the hero from 4 is voiced by Takeshi Kusao. He's a veteran voice actor and asked for a lot of detail on the backstory of his character. And this has carried oh. over into his performance. So hopefully his performance is awesome for the green guy. I already forgot his name. Solo, I think. The Japanese one. By Yuki Taji. It was apparently a dream of his to do voice work for the Super Smash Brothers and the Dragon Quest series. Oh, well, well, he got his dream. Both dreams come true at once. <laughs> wow. The heroes from 3, 4, and 8 are being voiced for the first time in the series. Oh. Calling out the spell names is also a series first. Okay. Here's moves. Yes, here we go. Now, let's get a look at these fighters in action. The animations are a bit more energetic than the standard sword uses, since the aims and match the style, like Hira Toriyama. Okay. More energetic sword users. Good. <laughs> Sometimes, the hero's smash attacks result in a critical hit. Oh. It happens at random, but when it does, it will perform an extra strong attack. Whoa! That's really strong. <laughs> Hopefully that doesn't happen often, or this character could be overpowered. I can't tell how often it happens, though. We'll have to wait to see. Okay, so he's basically got Link's shield. Oh. So it's not all sword. The side tilt- ooh. <laughs> and for Frizz. Whoa! <laughs> you can stop your charge in the middle by shielding, and then you can resume ah. charging again. So it's like Robin's neutral special, but it's all fire! <laughs> and you can store it, okay. Even if you've charged up like a Frizz, it oh. will happen if you don't have enough MP at the time. But it uses those. I'm gonna call them mana points. I don't know if that's correct. Zap type. That's cool. Zapple. <laughs> that's a fun name. Frizzle is too. Kazap! <laughs> Sorry about me making fun of these. These are probably, you know, really cool and stuff. But they're just funny names for us Americans. Whoosh! I'm specials! <laughs> 
I don't know why this is so funny to me, but it is. Whoosh. Swoosh. Go to swoosh. Man. Oh, but these all require MP. Oh. Okay, so I think all of these require that MP thing, which means that their recovery might actually not be that good. Especially since it took that many, I'm gonna call them mana points. Oh, okay. Alright. What the heck? Okay. Oh. This is the one that we saw in the direct, or sorry, in the E3. Random list. Oh. So there's not like a huge list, it'll choose four random ones. Oomph. <laughs> Raises attack. I didn't see how much damage that did. I didn't see. Psych up. Increases the power of the next attack. Whoa! Uh, that wasn't that much damage, but... That had a lot of knockback. <gasps> Whoa! Okay, that's actually really good. Alright, Reflector. But for how long? I can't tell. It also raises their MP. <laughs> it's like a double reflector thing. Yeah. Don't know how many reflects it'll take though. Okay. Crackle slash can freeze opponents. Crackle slash. <laughs> Some of these are just really funny to me. Whoa! You got Shulk right here with the speed Monado. <laughs> Kaboom! Sets off a Kaboom! <laughs> okay, that's actually really cool. Snooze. Snooze. Oh, like my alarm clock. But his critical hits aren't always active. Thwack! Consider this instantly KO! Whoa! This character can be overpowered! Whoa! The probability increases the higher damage. What? This character could be overpowered. Wonder how they'll balance this. Zoom. Okay, yeah, he went pretty high. Whoa, that went, that was really high. Kaklang. Whoa. You don't know what'll happen. Ooh, this is the one that'll be used in tournaments. Oh, that's bad. Huh. I don't know if this character will be banned. I don't know. Depends on how they'll balance all this. This character has so much. Did you see that? It uses all your MP, but it does that huge explosion. I don't know if this character will be legal. We might have to ban this one. And finally, Kamikaze. Kamikaze. Cell produces an extremely powerful explosion. Oh! Didn't even kill him. <laughs> the highest number. Yeah. There's so many. That didn't even kill him. What's the point? Can be cancelled using shield. Alright, good. You can try again and hope for a different set of spells. Oh. That's his final smash, Giga Slash, and it's no mere pizzazz. This move calls upon we've all the past seen this. to lend the hero their power for one mighty blow. That is pretty mighty. <laughs> this attack has a high vertical range, and if it's within four in-game meters, it will connect. Oh wow, there's actually measurements in this game, I didn't know. Also, he was at zero, will it kill? No, okay, good. Let's see them in action. Oh. The command selection move is unlike any other in the game. Yeah. It may be a bit hard to imagine how it works. So I'll fight a CPU yeah. opponent for a while. Oh, he's gonna show us an actual match. Oh, this is cool.
We get to see Sakurai's fighting skills. Oh, and we're on this map. Okay. <laughs> Sorry for the sneeze. Oh. Oh, he tried spiking. Oh, he's playing dirty. Alright, so attacking refills your MP. Ooh, hopefully he can just try stalling him out so he doesn't use it. Oh, spikes him! Oh, Sakurai's playing dirty today! Ooh, critical hit. Wait, I think I just said that at the same time as Sakurai. He has his final smash. Final smash. Ooh! Nice play. Goes in there with. Just surprises him. And he's gone. <laughs> Even Sakurai makes mistakes. Sometimes. Barely. It's a platform. So it looks like it's gonna be this platform in the sky with possibly other platforms. I haven't really seen. Also, that was a bad use of a final smash from that. That was a bad use of a final smash from CPU. <laughs> Sorry again. Oh, time's about to go down. I have a feeling Sakurai won. Yep. <laughs> Sorry about the sneeze. I don't know why I'm doing that. New stage. Alright, this is the stage. <laughs> this stage is called Yggdrasil's Altar, and it's based on the location in Dragon Quest XI-S. One difference is that the platform rises, which is very Super Smash Brothers. <laughs> that is Super Smash Brothers-like. We're passing close by Cetacea. After that, we'll be able to see all of Yggdrasil. Wow, that's huge. The giant tree in the background is an important point in Dragon Quest XI-S. Kind of reminds me of Great Plateau Tower, with all the stuff in the back. While the taco is out there, some sort of platform will appear. We just passed Arborea, and you can see what looks like a rainbow bridge. And now we pass Havens Above. I wonder what Hazards Off will be like. Sometimes you'll see liquid metal signs up here too. Huh. Those are really rare. That's a cool stage. Oh, they're showing more. We draw near to the giant tree. Will something happen? As we make our way up the tree. Yes. See a light, which also appears in Dragon Quest XI S. <laughs> wow. Nice we synchronization. Oh, I know we go back. There's something over here. Sometimes the treasure chest appears on the stage, oh. as you can see here. If you open it, you get an item. Oh, that's cool. But it could also be a trap. Oh, ooh, risk reward. Ha! <laughs> Are just all of these evil chests called mimics? <laughs> I mean, I think the one in Kid Icarus is a mimic. I don't know though. And there's also one in Crypt. I felt it was unfortunate to have only one, one or what? two songs from that game. 
So instead, they decided to compile a collection of field and battle suits for each hero. Oh. Here's what it looks like. How many songs? Players who have an emotional attachment to specific music tracks can use the My Music feature to pick their favorite ones to play. I see. Of course, you can also enjoy them by using the soundtrack feature. You won't be able to select the famous prelude that way, but the end of the prelude will play during the hero's victory screen. Oh, so it's... We've also added other Is it different? Including some of the spirit board. More DLC we'll spirits? Are we in a classic mode? I mean, sort of expected both of those. Oh! It's available today? Really? Oh! Whoa! It's available today! It's crazy! Wow! We're also adding in new Mii Fighter costumes. Please take a look. Oh. Let's see the new costumes then. I don't really care about the costumes, but some people probably like them, so let's look at these new ones. Okay. Hehe. <laughs> Some of these actually look really good. Whoa! With that martial arts one, you can make... Ooh. That's cool. <laughs> nice hat. Those were cool things. They're available today, just like the others, for 75 cents each. Okay. Along with Hero, the version 4.0 update will also be available. Okay. Oh! Is there more stuff? New FS meter time limit. What does that mean? There will now be a time limit on the final smash meter. Oh! That'll make it harder to use your attack range to play a waiting game. Oh! Just use your final smash <gasps> ready. Yes! It it's more balanced! It's more balanced now! You can't just stick your final smash on for a minute. New adventure mode difficulty. What? Very easy? Very easy? Who wants very easy? I like the challenge. New spectate feature. Ooh. Another new feature will let you try and predict the winner during the Ah! <gasps> yes! Gambling! <laughs> oh, you can earn spirits and stuff. Oh. Do you not lose anything when you lose? But, whatever. Online tourney mode. Okay, so tourneys are online now. Cool. An online tourney mode will also be added in. Alright. To enter an in-game tourney, all you have to do is select Hey, look, there are two Robs. See, Rob is still three. Look at that. I mean, this could be just a, you know, demo and stuff, but Rob is a pretty popular character now. Special event tourneys. Ooh. Is that an eight player? You can use screenshots and edits now. Cool. Okay. Watch out, DK. There are new amiibo available now. Oh! Isabel, Pokemon Trainer, and Pichu. Some people would like those, and they're available now. Okay. That's cool. Finally, the fighter known as Hero will be distributed soon, but Dragon Quest XI S Echoes of the Elusive Age Definitive Edition will release on September 27th, so please check that out as well. Okay. We tried a live stream like format this time, but I'm still not sure if we will do this every time a new fighter is released. Regardless, I hope you have fun with Hero. Yeah. I like that he's available today. That's cool. That's Akarai. Alright, that was awesome. So, this character has so much depth. 
Wow. That's nuts. Um, I really like it, though. It could be overpowered, but I like how many moves they have. There, there's almost something for everything, which is nice. Uh, I like that you can gamble and spectate now, and stuff of that nature. Uh, and there's just, I mean, online tournaments are pretty cool, because, I mean, at least there's tournaments locally, but now that you can do it online, that's even better. Um, also, FS meter time limit. That's really... Hold on. I'm getting a call and stuff, so decline. Uh, well, I'm going to end off the stream here. So, uh, I guess I'll just have fun with Hero now. Whew, that was awesome. Uh, see y'all in the next video.